Hello everybody and welcome. I'm Cam Cristo and I've got another sub mod for you for M&T 3.0. It is compatible with the latest Alpha, Alpha 11 and I expect it to remain compatible for the foreseeable future. Uh, so far I've added ages back in, I've added uh, hegemonies, but now I've added the Emperor of China back in. So this was a system that already existed in... Uh, in Alpha 11, in, in 3.0. However, they had cut the celestial reforms and decrees. Essentially, as far as I understand it, um, just because they hadn't had time to get to kind of, you know, balancing them to fit with the new systems yet. I, as I have previously stated, am of the philosophical opinion that a imperfect system is usually better than a non-existent system. I like lots of these new vanilla systems that were added by DLCs and stuff, like celestial reforms, decrees, Empire of China, all that stuff. So I like to have that included in my game, even if it doesn't quite fit. Um, having this mod, it's all you need to do, by the way, is own Mandate of Heaven and uh, enable the DLC. Didn't did they did they make it so Empire of China is no longer required by um, by uh, for Empire of China uh, by Mandate of Heaven? Anyway, I don't recall. You may or may not need the DLC Mandate of Heaven. It goes on sale for like three quid. So just buy it anyway. Uh, <laughs> it's Chris advice from Christo on finance. But anyway, all I've done is added them back in and I've nerfed them, basically all of them. Um, so for example, this one, oh, well, I haven't nerfed that one to be fair, but this one used to give you 5% trade efficiency. There's very little trade efficiency available in MNT um, because they don't like magic money, which trade value money kind of is. So I've got rid of that. I've tweaked this one to go from five, 10 to five core creation costs, same for this one. I've tweaked a bunch of it just to nerf it. And also on this one, it used to let you use spend mandate to turn tributaries into vassals. I've just deleted that. I think that's overpowered. Um, especially for the, the size of tributaries you can get in in MNT versus um, vanilla is insane. So I have uh, I've nerfed that. Apart from that, I haven't really touched much of it. Doing one of these will take away 70 of your mandate. And let's see what that looks like. If I, uh, I set my mandate up. So to do this, you need to have at least 70, I believe. You might actually need 100. I'm not, not quite sure. But uh, yeah, you can experiment with that. It takes away one stability and 70 mandate, which is the same as vanilla. And you get the bonus. But being at 30 mandate hurts. You get plus four national unrest, 40% stability increase interval, 10% less manpower of armies. You do get 10% increased manpower recovery speed, less fort defense, two less diplo rep. You lose mandate for being at low mandate, so it's a, a vicious cycle. It's a virtuous cycle if you have it positive, I believe. Is that right? Yeah. Um, you get limited design subjects, you lose garrison size, you lose centralization, and you lose meritocracy. So it's really bad to, to do one of these reforms, which is why I think it's okay still to, to have them in the game. You know, this one's pretty good. Plus one Monarch admin skill. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, and yeah, 5% core cool creation. Again, some of these are nice and worth having. These ones, I think less so. I should probably get rid of that one, actually. Now I think about it, yeah. I'll actually change this one. It shouldn't be national tax modifier. It should be um, hmm, population census. We could make it tax mana costs maybe that would make sense maybe a five percent tax mana costs um it's kind of annoying to have to do though but anyway we'll tweak those um going forwards there'll be if you have any suggestions for how to tweak these do let me know but yeah just a super short video the link to it in is in the description i've called it the mandate of may of mnt very very simple name um I've touched nothing else. All I've done is re-enable celestial reforms and decrees. If I find that some other element of the Chinese system is kind of broken or um, unbalanced or something in MNT, I'll probably add that to the submod. But there it is. And this is a submod that I intend to use in my World Conquest campaign, which will be as one of these fine Chinese nations. Expect the first episode of that coming out maybe shortly, maybe in ages. I'm not sure. I'm considering recording the entire campaign before I release any of it. Um, but I'm not sure I can leave people wanting more for that long because it might take me like a year. <laughs> so we'll see. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the sub mod. Let me know if it's bugged. Tell me on Discord rather than on Steam if you wouldn't mind because it's just easier to reply quickly there. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.